how can I explain that the Unitarian Church of Lincoln doesn't do baptisms? This one is similar to another question that we got uh, last week, which is how Unitarianism and Universalism evolved out of Christianity, um, which I'm afraid is a longer answer than five minutes, so we'll take it up in pieces. Baptisms are a very particular component of a particular tradition. They're a sacrament, meaning uh, an outward and visible sign of an inward and, visib and invisible grace. Baptisms represent a person choosing to follow Jesus Christ and, and critically to do so in the context of a community of faith supporting that journey. There were, were, there are centuries of arguments about whether infants can be baptized. Unitarianism comes more or less uh, out of the Radical Reformation tradition in Christianity, which held that it was nonsense to claim that infants could make that choice, and so generally held baptism for something that happens later in life as adults join a church. It's an interesting side note, uh, in this and in some of the ways we govern ourselves, Unitarians and Baptists uh, are actually first cousins uh, ecclesiastically. Um, Though perhaps cousins that don't socialize much outside of big family reunions. So for that reason, I, I am skeptical of baptizing infants. We believe folks have a free and responsible search for truth and meaning. Uh, and it does take some time to begin finding your own authentic answers. But the other piece of this, of course, is that baptism is communal. It's not just about the person getting baptized. It's about the gathered church saying, we will help you in your journey to know Christ. And that's not a commitment that we can make as a church. That's not a commitment that's true to our traditions or the beliefs that we communally espouse now. So it would be unfair to either our community or the one getting baptized. Now, outside of that, if you sort of squint and look sideways, you can see in our infant dedications and our new member ceremonies pieces of baptismal liturgy. In infant dedications, we bless the child and the congregation commits to helping raise them in faithful life. And in new member ceremonies, we ask new members to affirm their commitment to finding meaning in community with us. So in this way, we're doing the thing that baptism represents, bringing new people into community and covenant without the specific Christian sacrament that is not ours to do.